Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. I know this isn't the best angle or lighting, but <laughs> I'm not feeling the greatest today, so I'm just sitting in my living room. I'm getting ready to start cutting a bunch of batting for my new bags that I'm making. And I wanted to come on here and show you uh, my finished objects. Object. <laughs> only, there's only one I can show you. And uh, my whip and uh, Happy Meal. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a really short episode, but I want to go ahead and get it filmed so I can get it edited and up and uh, work on some bag stuff today but yeah so today's episode what is 36 136 i think something like that <laughs> anyways it's tuesday uh february the 9th <laughs> so i do have two finished objects one i can't show you so i will pop up a picture of it i don't think i showed it last week i can't even remember <laughs> but it was an amigurumi kiwi that i made for um a kiwi day i think last week uh, for my calendar, so I'll pop up a picture of it. Uh, I can't show it to you because it's been sold, so it's uh, it's probably at its new house now. <laughs> but uh, it was really cute and quick make. I made it super quickly, and I made it with um, let's see, I think it was all Red Heart Super Saver except the brown was Olive Sharn Toasted Almond, and then the rest of it was Red Heart Super Saver scraps and some fiber fill and some little safety else. <laughs> And that's pretty much it. But I'll link that pattern in the description below if you want to check it out. My next finished object is my cardigan. I, I shared it on my Facebook group. So if you're a member of there, you've already seen it. <laughs> and I've been pretty much wearing it ever since I finished it. Because it's nice and warm. And um, I like wearing it around the house. Because it keeps me toasty. But anyways, I'm just going to kind of hold it up. But then I'm going to insert photos. <laughs> so this is my cardigan. Right here. This is the Everyday Cardigan, and it's a free pattern by Sorella, and I'll, I will link that below too. I made it with, um, I love this yarn, Sun Gold. <laughs> it's a worsted weight yarn. Each ball has 355 yards, and I used almost, well, this is how much I had left of the fourth ball. So I used about maybe three and a half yards, or <laughs> three and a half balls, or like maybe um, more than a half, maybe like, I would probably just uh, round it up to say like I used three, three full skeins and then like three fourths of the last one. So that, you know you have enough to earn. I made the extra large size and I used a K hook, and uh, it fits me really well. I like it. I made extra large because I was afraid a large wouldn't fit me good because I do wear large shirts, but um, you know cardigans you want to be kind of loose and flowy and you know be able to wrap up in them so that's why i opted to make the extra large <laughs> so i liked it a lot it was super easy last time you guys seen it it was just a back panel and a little bit of the front panel so then i went crazy ham on it watching uh tv and youtube and stuff and working on it and i think it turned out really nice but i'm going to um insert some photos of me wearing it we took them outside when it was snowing and it was real pretty so um yeah i like it a lot but i think i did the uh seams really well the side seams, I think I did pretty good. And the seams, uh, the arms to the body, <laughs> I, I was actually surprised. I was a little worried that they would look wonky, <laughs> but I think I did good. I seamed them inside out, you know, so, um, and then I just uh, whip stitched them together or mattress stitch. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> but right there's the inside of it. It looks a little bit rougher on the inside than it does on the outside, but uh, no one's going to be seeing the inside of it. And let's see here, did I do anything different? Oh, I did make the arms way shorter <laughs> than the pattern calls. Uh, I kept trying my arm on as I was making it. And uh, if I had followed the pattern, it would have been, like, it would have been hanging off like that much of my arm. It wanted me to do 16 more rounds than I did. So I did 16 less. And uh, my arms would have been flopping down to like my knees or something. But, um, you know, if, if you make this, I suggest you just try it on. <laughs> Uh, your arm as you go so uh, you know I put on the the sweater body and it kind of comes down a little bit the uh, shoulder it's what's it called like a raglan or whatever where it kind of comes off the shoulder and um, so I just kind of I kept trying it on till it was about where it needed to be to sew on to be sewn on so um, I'm glad I did that so I just followed the pattern blindly my sleeves have been way too long but also <laughs> my sleeve sleeve seams are kind of wonky the first sleeve I made I was just doing my own thing and trying to, you can see my, <laughs> it's like all over the place, my seam. I kept trying to get it to go straight and I didn't figure out how to do it right until the, the end of it. But the next one looks way better. It's actually got a straight seam. It doesn't look straight because it's a round thing, but it is actually straight. 
when I can lay it flat, good grief, Ella. Focus on what you're doing. Okay. See, it is, it is, <laughs> it is a straight seam. I just can't get it to lay flat because it's a tube. And yeah, I watched a bunch of videos on how to make, there it goes, <laughs> a straight seam when working in the round with half double crochets because half double crochets lean and that's why they have that weird spirally effect. Um, so I watched a ton of videos and none of them helped. That's why this one sleeve looks so crazy. It's like it's going this way and then that way and this way and that way. And the one that I finally watched, I will link it below. I can't remember who it was by, but I'll link it in the description. And basically what you do is you decrease at the beginning of the round and then do regular stitches all the way around and then you increase at the, the end of the round. That way you keep your same stitch number that you need, but it keeps the line straight. It does add a little tiny bit of bulk, but you can't even really tell it. Like when I'm wearing it, like nobody's gonna know. <laughs> so, and I, I sewed my sleeves on so that the seams are down, so that they're kind of facing the body with my, when my arms are down. So, uh, yeah, all in all, I'm happy with it. I love it. There's some mistakes in it. It's not perfect, but I love it. And I wear it like crazy. I feel like I made this, um, <clears throat> what is this called? border <laughs> smaller i did the amount of rows that it called for but the bottom border is way thicker than the like where your buttons would be if you had buttons on it i don't know but i still like it i'm happy with it yeah so that's that that's my only other finished object i do have my square right here <laughs> for my uh hashtag movie and stitch but i'm not showing that until tomorrow wednesday and um but i just give you like a little sneak peek of it i'll show you that guy that tomorrow in the moving stitch uh, video. <laughs> so that's my only finished objects, just the sweater, the square, and the kiwi. So I got this scrap ball. And actually, two, I have, uh, I think, two full skeins of this left to, um, left over from this color. I bought the yarn originally for this in, I think, 2017 to make that same exact cardigan. <laughs> it was when it was really popular. I don't know if it's when it first came out or if it's just when it was super popular around, you know, everybody was making it. So, uh, it's just been sitting there. I did start it a long time ago, but I ended up ripping it out. And uh, so I now have like two full skeins and then this ball. I'll, I'll put this in my scrap balls and use it for amigurumi probably because it's like a good gold color. But uh, the other skeins I will just save and use them for whatever. <laughs> but I do have to make my mom one of these. She wants one. I'm going to make hers a size bigger than mine. We're, we're roughly the same size. She's just a little bit bigger than me, but I know she likes, you know, like big... Um, snuggly sweaters <laughs> and she wants hers to be in like a dark hunter green so she's gonna give me the money to purchase the yarn for that and i'm gonna she told me to pick out the yarn she just told me the color but i'm probably gonna try to get i love this yarn because it's really soft and i will wait till a week that it's on sale so i can get it at a better price <laughs> for her and whip it up for her anyways whips so i have a few whips that i need to be working on upcoming whips I need to work on my hat for hats, hats, and more hats. <laughs> I need to work on my cowl for Seda's uh, calendar cowl. I also need to be working on the calendar projects from the calendar, crochet calendar fun <laughs> collab that I'm, I'm participating in, but I haven't started any of those. <laughs> I'm going to be doing that uh, probably this weekend because I'm going to be sewing this week on toe bags. But um, I, do, I did start one whip last night, <laughs> and I'm making it with Mandela Ombre. I have six balls of this I bought last year uh, around the times that I was having the miscarriages because I was planning on making um, a rainbow blanket if we ended up being successfully pregnant. But, uh, you know, we quit trying and uh, this yarn's just been sitting there since. So I've been wanting to use it because it is really pretty. But it's called uh, Happy and it's Mandela Ombre. It is a number four. It's 100% acrylic and 344 yards each ball. So I have six of these. <laughs> so it's like 2,000 yards that I have. So I may, I started <laughs> another cardigan <laughs> for myself in a rainbow color, and it's so pretty already. This is almost a whole ball. It's about uh, a little over half, so right here's the rest of it. <laughs> I neglected to put one of those cake things on there. I thought about it, but I was already comfortable and sitting down and watching TV and working on this, and I didn't get, I didn't want to get up and go get it, so now my, my cake is all floppy. I should have got one of those cake things. Cake cozies, I got I got two of them that was gifted to me, three technically, and um, <clears throat> I need to um, I need to put them on my cart so that I can use them. But anyways, they're all the way in there, and I didn't want to go get it, so now I have a floppy cake. <laughs> Moral of the story: If you purchase those things or get them gifted to you, use them. Don't just leave them in other rooms. 
But yeah, so I'm making the same exact cardigan, the Everyday Cardigan uh, by Sorella. Worst of weight yarn, K-hook. Same exact thing, just rainbow color. <laughs> I'm excited about this. I think it's going to be really pretty. But uh, yeah, I, I love the length of this sweater. It goes down past my butt, so it covers my butt up, and um, I like stuff like that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think on this rainbow one, I'm going to focus on making the, um, what is this thing called? This border thingy that's on the inside part where the buttons would go if you were going to put buttons on there whatever that's called i'm gonna make it wider because i did the right amount of rows but uh it still doesn't look as wide as the bottom one so i'm going to make mine on the rainbow one wider and i think i'm going to actually go down a hook size when i'm doing the cuff because my cuff kind of flares out a little bit which i don't i don't hate it but i don't like prefer that i want it to kind of be tighter around my my wrist so i'm going to probably go down a hook size or two and uh, see how that fits and then go back up when making the arm and I'm gonna try to make the seams straighter <laughs> on these arms but yeah I'm pretty excited with that so I'm making myself another one and I gotta make my mom one and um, I'm sure if she likes it I might end up making her a couple in different colors so yeah I'm pretty excited I've never made wearables like that and now I understand why so many people do because it's a lot of fun and I love having that I let it stays pretty much where it's at and I just as I'm chilly I just put it on <laughs> it's too cold to wear it outside here I need actual you know like layers <laughs> so um maybe in the early spring i'll be able to wear it outside the house and i can like show off my crochet sweater <laughs> but yeah so that's my only active whip right now is the other cardigan in the mandala happy colorway and uh i had the other ball band but i can't find it it must have fell off my shelf that's why i had to go get this cake so i could show you the ball band <laughs> but um yeah so that's all my active whips right now i do have those ones i need to get started quite a few actually so, but they're all little projects, so I should be able to whip them out pretty quickly. But I wanted to share some Happy Mail that I got. <clears throat> I shared these in some other videos, but I wanted to condense them and put them all together. So first, I got these Safety Eyes gifted to me. Can't see them well. They're plastic. These were gifted to me from Haley. Ugh. She's the one who makes the cake uh, cozies. I'll link her shop below if you want to check it out. So, oh, look, there's a little tiny me in there. <laughs> they're 30 millimeters. These are good for crystals um mr perzala and also the the yodas the baby yodas <laughs> um, i need to make some of those yodas and of course there's a ton in there so i can make a bunch of other different things too so uh i already talked to her about this but thank you ian anyways <laughs> and i got some valentine's day cards i did show these in a um my little short video but i wanted to show them again so this first one is from crystal <laughs> at chronically crocheting she's the one who made mr perzala so it's a homemade card it's very pretty it's very glary. <laughs> it's real um, overcast today, so ooh, my hands, <laughs> my hands sometimes um, trimmers, and I have to stop and on the inside of it, it's got um, real cute little stamps. I know I mentioned always being cold and my hand trimmers and all that, so people's been telling me I need to go get my thyroid checked because apparently that's symptoms of that. So I'm gonna be working on that. But, and I do appreciate it when people watch out for me like that because sometimes I neglect my health, as most people do, it seems like. And this next Valentine's Day card is also a homemade one, and it's from Red Heart Crochet and Magic. Is that an answer? No, Cr Red Heart Crochet Magic. And it's super cute. Look at that little dog. It's like a Boston Terrier. And that's a tag, and it's got like a little bit of depth to it. So it's little, I guess it's those little foam things. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I'm not a paper crafter. Really cute print paper. Does it have anything else? Okay. Super cute. I love these homemade cards. I love any cards, but homemade cards just feel so much more special because I don't know if these people made these with me in mind or if they made them and then thought of me to send me one. But either way, it's cool to think that someone made cards and sent them to you. I wish so bad I could do this, but I just, I'm not good at it. I tried and tried and tried. Like every year I get it in my head to like, I'm going to be a paper crafter. And then I buy all the supplies and then I never do anything with it. <laughs> So, uh, but I do appreciate getting homemade cards. And then I got this card yesterday, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, it was in a green envelope, <laughs> and it's from Cheryl, and it's this cute little smiley face, look at that, that is so cute, and it's just like a thinking of you card, so I appreciate that so much, and I thought it was so cool, it was in like a really bright green envelope, <laughs> and then my last happy mail was this calendar, and um, if you see my calendar video, you would have seen this, but I got this in the mail from Dina at Dina's Homespun Fun, and we're all doing like a little collab type thing where we're making the patterns from this calendar. It's got a bunch of uh, different patterns in it. 
and we're going to be making uh, each month's pattern and sharing it with you guys at the end of the month. I already got, uh, I'm going to do January even though January is over, but I got an idea of what to make with it. Uh, I hope it turns out the way I'm like imagining it. <laughs> and I really love February's. That would be so pretty. But yeah, so there's that. I think that's all the heavy mail I got. I that I can remember. <laughs> but, uh. Oh, I got a shirt that I ordered, but that doesn't count. I'll pop up a picture. I posted it on the um, community tab and on the Facebook group, but it's just a really cute shirt. I had made at uh, customink.com. You can make uh, individual shirts and order them instead of like some, some websites where you print shirts, you have to order like quantities of them. This website lets you order one at a time. It was uh, $22, I think. I think it came to $22.99 because it had free shipping at the time. I don't know if they do that all the time. But um, I just, I have some saved up money. I, we, we use like cash envelopes and sinking funds. I don't know if any of you guys know what that is. But I sunk my money to get me a new camera for photography, not for video. And I just use my phone. <laughs> but um, this isn't like a fancy camera. It was like 300 bucks, But it's a Canon um, T100. And I do want to get some more uh, lenses eventually, but they're super expensive. But anyways, this is good enough for now for me to just get back into photo photography because I used to do it when I was a teenager. Anyways, after I bought that, finally, I continued to put money in my sinking fund. Uh, so I've just kind of spent some of it every now and then. And that's what I spent, uh, spent, spent, spent <laughs> to get that shirt. That's what I'm trying to say. But I'm thinking about saving up now for a new phone, but I don't know because phones are expensive. <laughs> but, uh. I also need a new laptop, and I really, really want an iPad Pro, but they're so expensive. I don't know if I want to spend that much money on something like that. But anyways, that, I just wanted to let you know that I bought that shirt. <laughs> People had asked me if I was going to sell those, but uh, I don't think I want to deal with ordering a bunch and then trying to sell them because I don't want to order too many and then not sell them, and then I just have a bunch of them. But um, yeah, if you want to order your own, you can go to that website and make it yourself. All I did was picked out a font and wrote what I wanted to say and then I typed in where you can search um, like their graphics that they have. I just typed in yarn and it brought up a bunch of different yarn related <laughs> graphics. Picked the one with the crochet hook in it and I just made it purple because I thought purple would be cute and that was it. <laughs> so yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because I got to get this edited and I got to start working on my bags. My schedule is start, set to start today. <laughs> so I'm hoping to get the totes um sewn it really depends on how i feel this week because it's uh shark week <laughs> for me and uh i don't really feel like right <laughs> but i'm gonna try to work on the bags all week this week and get them up i'm hoping sunday what is sunday is sunday valentine's day i think sunday sunday is valentine's day i don't remember whatever sunday is i was gonna try to shoot for saturday but i didn't get to start working on my bags yesterday because we were busy doing errands this weekend i'm hoping to get them out this weekend <laughs> but it's going to be toe bags uh with the pockets and snaps um i think there's 22 of them i cut 22 but i don't know if i'll make 22. <laughs> i don't know it'll just be i'll put out a video the day before to let you guys know the specifics but i got some really cute prints this time and um yeah i hope you guys like them <laughs> i got some prints that um I don't know I don't they're different than I normally pick out that's what I'm trying to say um I got some with like wolves on it and I got some with owls because I know a lot of people like owls and uh yeah but anyways you'll see them in the next video whenever I put it up about the back update but anyways I'm gonna hop off here and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys